Hey, how's it going guys? Brandon here for RC Flight School. Today we're going to be doing a little build tutorial for you. I'm probably going to be splitting this up into a few different videos, just so it doesn't run too long. But we will be building the slow stick from GWS. And really, this build is pretty simple. All you're going to need for tools is some glue. I have standard foam safe CA glue here from my local hobby shop. This is some kicker, some activator if you will, so I don't have to wait so long for it to dry. A type of blade, exacto blade will work best, whatever you got lying around will be okay. A marker, and if you can, a 90 degree measuring tool. So you want something with a perfect 90 degree edge. I just grabbed a DVD case from around the house. I'm kind of going to be doing this you know, on location, if you will, so that you at home, if it's your first build, you don't have all these tools, well, you can substitute things like this to make it work. So, let's get started right away with building the airframe. Alright guys, so here I have the tail pieces laid out in front of me, the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical, or elevator rudder if you will. Uh, the first step that they recommend you do is to hinge the elevator and rudder and to cut out the relief for the bottom. So let me show you what they mean by that. You can see I've already applied the tape, the hinge tape that's supplied. Cut it off evenly on both ends. And then if you flip it over, you notice this cut line here. What I had to do was cut an angle in there so that the elevator is allowed to go down just like so. So you can see that gap I had to cut in there. So I did this one already. I'll set that aside. I could show you how to do it on this one. First thing we're going to want to do is put our hinge tape across it. So that's supplied on these decal sheets here. It's kind of hard to work with, but just peel a piece off. They give you plenty to work with. Uh, you're going to be using some for the wings, some for the tail. So just keep that in mind as you're applying it that you're not getting too careless with it. So it's pretty simple. Just take it, lay it down straight over the top, like so. Work it in a little bit so it doesn't come off too easily. Just like that. And then we'll cut off the extra tape. We don't want to leave this hanging over the edge, otherwise it'll get peeled away over time. Just like so. Cut that away. Now we have our hinge on. Now that we're hinged, we can flip this over. And there's two reliefs here we want to cut out so that it's able to pivot. If I just slice through these, just like that, now you can see she's able to pivot like so. But because I haven't cut the relief on the other side, it only goes one way. I can only fold it this way. So we're going to actually flip it over like this. And I'm going to use this as a guide, and I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle into the top of this. So if you watch how this is done, I'm just taking the blade at an angle and cutting a 45 degree slant into the foam. This is pretty easy to freehand. You don't have to be exact. I mean, it's just foam, but you do have to take off the right amount. So you can see I got that cleared. You can see like so. And now if I take it, I can flex it the other way. I'm going to now kind of break it in and push it a little past its point where it's usually going to be to help free that up. So now I got really free movement here to here. No problem. Perfect. So we have the, hor the vertical done. I'm going to take the horizontal and now we're going to glue it to our stick. Now the advantage of these stick planes, they may not look too pretty, but they're very easy to assemble. Because the fuselage is a perfect stick, we really don't have much to worry about in terms of aligning anything. So what I've done for your benefit is marked the dead center of the, the horizontal stabilizer and then right between the lines I've taken some sandpaper and roughed it up to give the glue something to stick to. You can do the same thing to the carbon fiber rod if you'd like as well. All you do is take some of your foam safe glue, run a line, doesn't take much, down there like so. Grab our fuselage. Again, that's just a stick. I'm going to lay it on there. And now we're going to have to make sure that it's sitting at a perfect 90. And again, that's where a tool like this, the DVD case comes in. I'm just going to align this up to it, set it up against this side and then this side, and make sure that I'm at a perfect 90 degree angle. And that looks pretty good. Once you're happy with the angle you got this at and the positioning. If you bought the kicker, a quick spray, and that will set up real quick within a few seconds. Blowing on it will help accelerate that. 
help work it into the glue joint. And there you have it. Now we have our horizontal stabilizer glued to our fuselage or a stick, whatever you want to call it. Now it's time for the vertical stab. Now you do want to pay attention to which side you're putting this on. I'm putting it on this side because I know that my elevator push rod has to run along here. There's a little cutout for it, there's a little slot, so I'm going to put the rudder on this side of things. And we're going to line the rudder to the very end of the stick, like so. So again, if you want, you can rough this up. I'm going to rough it up with my blade here to give the glue something to stick to. Just a little bit, doesn't take much. Just to get that gloss off of there. Glue doesn't stick too well to things that are real smooth or glossy. Lay a little glue down in here. Again, not too much, I'm just a thin line. And the rudder can go on. Now again, you want to take care to make sure it's lined up to the back of the stick. That's pushed all the way down and once you're happy with that, grab your 90 degree tool, lay it in there, and make sure that it's sitting at a perfect 90 degree from the horizontal. So now I know that this angle here to here is at a perfect 90. Once you're happy with that, again, just give it a quick spray with the accelerator. I'll hold it for just a sec, let it do its job, and we should be good. And there you have it. Now we have our tailpiece built. Not too difficult as far as plane building goes. This is about as easy as it gets. And again, the key point to take away from all this is make sure everything's at a good 90. You want to square it up here and here to make sure it's going to be level with the wings and the rest of our airplane. So there you have it. That's the tailpiece. Now we can move on to assembling the rest of the fuselage and the wings. All right, guys, now we can go ahead and put everything we need to on our airframe in terms of hardware. Uh, this is all included in the kit, and I've laid out the pieces in front of me in the order that they're going to go on. Um, now this tail technically should be here for orientation. So there you go. That's how it would look if they're on. And I do this so that I know that I'm putting them on in the right order. Now the benefit, to, again, to a stick plane is that these guys here can just slide around. So you don't really have to worry about positioning right now and honestly I like to leave them loose. Some guys will glue these in place or screw them in place. I leave them loose so that in a hard crash everything can shift forward on the stick and you can go ahead and reset it later. It kind of helps absorb impact. So here's the order. This guy goes on the back. This is going to be what holds our our push rods and the tail gear. So push that on. You can see we have a front and rear wing mount here. Uh, the rear one is a little shorter than the, the front one, so keep that in mind. And they're only going to go on one way. You want to make sure that you got the lip of this guy on the back side. So push her all the way down. These are the servo mounts, and again, these do go on a certain way too, so keep in mind which way you're going in terms of the holes you have to use. I'm going to be using some HS55 servos, and so I know which way I want these on here already. Slide them down, that guy, and then the front wing mount, again, keep an eye on orientation here. So there we have it mocked up, and again, these will be shifted around quite a bit, but you kind of get an idea of how it's all going to lay out. Our servos will mount in between these two, the wing will sit onto these, push rods will go through this guy, and the landing gear attaches to the front wing mount and this guy back here. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, this is the landing gear I've already assembled ahead of time. This is the stuff they include with it. You pop the wheels on. There's small little clear plastic keepers to keep the wheels from coming off. That's pretty simple. A little upgrade I do recommend, some beefier wheels. These wheels are great. They are good for grass landing because they're so skinny. They kind of cut right through all the grass instead of plowing it over. These are almost just as good for grass, but they're a lot heavier duty. They're just thicker plastic. They got foam on the wheels. These are just all plastic and eventually they will break. If you're carrying any kind of payload, you're setting this up to be a heavier plane, bigger battery, heavier motor system, camera, anything like that, these wheels will be a must and you'll probably have to reinforce the gear a little bit. Tail wheel, same story here. The wheel just slides on. There's a small plastic keeper that holds it in place. Now we can move on to assembling the wing. 